Chris Sanchez and welcome to Sonoma Views, where we talk property management, real estate, restaurant reviews, what's going on in Sonoma County, and everything in between. Well, I uh, just finished up a uh, property inspection right now out in Healdsburg, just a routine maintenance inspection, which uh, I go out and do generally about twice a year. Every six months is a really good time to check in, and it just works well when I'm out during different seasons so usually summertime and then one in the winter so get to see different things at different times so I want to talk to you real briefly about some of the things that I look for when I'm doing those inspections so if you are a landlord and you're looking at uh, how you could keep uh, a little bit more control and do preventative maintenance and keep that that rental unit that rental property operating and you know good condition and performing well um, and keeping yourself out of hot water here's the things that I'm looking for uh, so I just went in I identified a number of things that needed needed attention one is a carbon monoxide alarm uh, it failed the test so replace the batteries if the batteries don't work then you replace the unit you're required to have a carbon monoxide alarm on each floor one on each if it's a two-story place one on each level I like to have them in the hallway and I like to have them near a gas uh, source of gas so in this case this particular uh, property is a townhouse two-story townhouse and one is near the furnace and then the other one is upstairs uh, in the hallway common area so one of them failed one of the smoke alarms was pulled down so again now we have to make sure that it goes up and document these things because uh, landlord pays for the smoke alarms and carbon monoxide alarms to be installed and tenants just take them out it just it happens all the time and it's the tenant's responsibility to test them and replace batteries when needed but the reality is they don't so i have to go in there proactively looking for water leaks are there leaks uh, you know test the faucet see if they're secure if they're loose maybe the the gaskets start getting loose and creates little water leaks checking them to the cabinets under the kitchen sink and the bathroom sinks see if there's any water leaks under the piping that's a place where moisture and mold could build up and you'll never know it unless you actually open up the, uh, the cabinet open up the door under the sink and check is it wet down there um, it could it could damage a vanity it could build up the plywood it could damage and mold it over time uh, windows blinds Blinds are common items that get damaged or you've broken slats or there's no, the wand, that little stick that turns the blinds is often missing. Little things to document throughout the, uh, throughout the tenancy. Uh, excessive wear, you know, how's the wear coming along? It was a brand new carpet. Are there stains on there? Are there stains on the flooring, on the vinyl, uh, kitchen flooring? Um, I have two windows that are, one is cracked and then one has a little hole in it. So that's an immediate item that needs to be repaired. The windows cannot have a broken window in a rental unit. It's a hazard. And not only is it a hazard, but it's also inefficient. It could be letting out heat. I could let in water, and then that could create water damage. So the um, generally landlord responsibility, landlord cost, unless you can prove and document that it was caused by the tenant, such as move in photos, move in video, or move in checklist none of the windows were cracked and now three months later there's a big crack okay what happened did a tree go through it or did the tenants just break it okay uh, general landscaping uh, looking on the on the outside it's the trees to be trimmed back general maintenance on the landscaping this particular one I uh, hear it all the time so as I'm going through I'm also looking for odors picking up odors if there's marijuana odor cigarette smoke odor pet odor pet urine um, curry that's another one of those strong strong odors that somebody's just they get stuck in the property um, so I'm looking for signs of pets if the rental agreement says that they do not have pets and no pets were allowed on the premises then obvious signs do they have a pet bed, a dog bed, do they have dog bowls, dog food, leash, photos of pets, uh, just little things that I'm not specifically looking for, but they jump out. Uh, I went to the backyard at, at this one's place, and they have a little uh, pooper scooper and 
dog poop all over the yard. So one, it's not sanitary. Tenants are responsible for maintaining their um, exterior or their exclusive yard for exclusive use. So that needs to be picked up. Uh, and then also signs that you know, there's an animal on here. There's dog droppings. Plain sight. So tenants, will, I hear it all the time. Oh, I don't have a dog. Uh, I have a friend or a family member who, who brings it over and he visits. You know, the dog visits. Right. So regarding the pets, our lease agreement states no animals will be brought onto the premises without the you know, written approval or approval by management or owner. So it is not limited to whether the tenants own a pet. It means that no animals, animals as a general term, may be brought onto the property for this specific reason. So <laughs> happens. So now what I'm what I'm doing is giving the tenants a, uh, a violation notice, uh, a notice to cure. You may not have animals on this property, pets, clean up the yard because it's overgrown, clean up the dog poop, unsanitary conditions. Okay. Uh, checking up uh, appliances, you know, general condition of appliances, water heater, make sure that it's strapped, make sure that there's no water leaks around the water heater. Um, those are the general items. And then go look at the garage and make sure that the garage has not been converted to a, uh, a grow house, growing marijuana some sort of drug factory, you name it, converted the garage into a living space, they have bunk beds in there, I see all sorts of stuff, so, um, again, this one was a pretty good inspection, the tents are taking care of the place, but they definitely do have a dog, which is not allowed on the rental agreement, so, that was, uh, I just I identified those things. That is it for now, uh, oh, and the, the correction items, by doing this, you're able to give the tenants a notice in writing, a notice to cure, they have to correct this, you have a lease violation, and then it becomes part of their record, part of their file. If they do not comply, then you go and it's a repeated violation, now you have grounds to move them out or end their tenancy, okay? So it just helps build a stronger case where you have more of a reasonable cause to have a tenant move out. Plus, if you identify the small little items, you can take care of the minor repairs while the tenants are still in there like that GFI, the circuit protected outlets in the kitchen and bath, they should be near the water supply. The outlet should be circuit protected. And if they're not, might as well do it now. If there's a light fixture that's not working, get an electrician in there, take care of the light fixtures. Um, small items, just take care of them now. It's, it'll go a long way. It's better just to do it now than wait until the tenant moves out, go do a full walkthrough, and then you have all these items and you have a big list of items to budget for. So it's better just to keep it in good, good maintenance condition and it makes the move out process better and then you have happy tenants and the tenants aren't afraid to call in and report items because then things are being taken care of and then they also take pride in the rental property, they have friends and family over and they will do better job of taking care of your property as well. So that's all I have. I'm Chris Sanchez. This is Sonoma Views. Thank you very much for watching. If you found benefit and value from this video and you'd like to see more, please uh, subscribe and you'll get notifications when uh, new ones pop up. I gotta run, I have a call coming in. Bye.